Hello everybody, this is Neil and you're watching Real World Magic. Now, if you've come here for a lowdown on getting a set of rules for your own magic, I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed because this is going to be a video about a prequel to the film Practical Magic with Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman released in 1998. The new prequel will be a new TV series to be released on HBO a bit later on and no one really knows when yet and it'll be accessible in the UK via Sky, I think. It's called The Rules of Magic, and I'll talk to you about it in just a moment. But first... Okay, so yes, this is a video all about The Rules of Magic by Alice Hoffman. She wrote a book called The Rules of Magic. Now, I'm perhaps a little ahead of the curve on this one, which makes a nice change because I read this book about two years ago and I absolutely loved it. This was one of those books that I just didn't want to finish simply because I didn't want it to end. I loved the ancient and sometimes quite dark references to magic and spells and remedies and superstitions and protective charms and all that sort of stuff and how the aunts from the film Practical Magic were explored as their own characters together with their slightly wayward brother Vincent. Now for me, the coolest bits were the small references to things like burying nails in the garden so that witches will catch their feet on them. And it alludes to, although it doesn't say so actually in the book, the idea that iron is a way of determining truth from magic workers. For example, leprechaun and other fairy gold can be found out by trying to pierce the coin using an iron nail. And if it is fairy gold, the nail will go straight through. And I think it's pretty obvious that Alice Hoffman, who wrote the book, The Rules of Magic, really does have a very deep understanding of magic. Now, this isn't supposed to be a review of the book, but at the moment, there's not really much to go on with the series. The series itself is going to follow the story of the book, which is based in the 1960s and follows three siblings whose magic has been largely repressed by their parents. One of which was an Owens, which, if you remember from the film, they were called the Owens Women. But the parents wanted to deny the magic within the children to ensure that the children grew up away from all of that sort of stuff. In a similar way to how Sandra Bullock's character acted at the beginning of Practical Magic towards her own children. It all just sort of happens again. Now, the aunts from the film are obviously much younger in the book and actually start out as very innocent children. And even Vincent is little more than a kid when the book starts. So how much of that we'll see in the series, I don't really know, but it should be quite interesting. Vincent, the older brother of the two aunts from the film, is the most mature, obviously, and goes a little bit crazy with the considerable power he possesses, and that makes for some pretty tense moments. The book also gets rather racy at times, so I wonder whether there's going to be some sex scenes. And knowing HBO, who are in charge of screening such things as The Walking Dead, Game of Thrones and Westworld, all of which had plenty of boobies, let's be honest, la la. they're not going to be shy about showing rather a lot of flesh. And I'm guessing that the production might well be delayed because of COVID-19. But I just really hope that the production crew pay as much attention as the author did when it comes to adding little details that those of us who know about magical traditions really notice and appreciate. The story itself focuses on three siblings who move into the spooky old house from Practical Magic, the film. Now, whether they're able to use the same house as the film is going to be testament to the locations director being able to get it and their ingenuity, but I guess it's probably not going to be the same one. It's been over 20 years since the film's release and it didn't actually do terribly well at the box office either. It wasn't exactly a flop, but it has had a pretty solid fan base since, so you never know. Hence the prequel. But I just think that realistically the house will probably be a different one, even though the story itself says that it should be the same one. So details at the moment are pretty sketchy, but I've got high hopes for this one. Now, I might even extend my Now TV package to allow me to watch it when it does come out. I don't know. I'll keep you updated when I hear more. I also thought I should let you know that my Patreon page is now live. Yay! So you can join one of three exclusive programs to get more content, exclusive access to stuff, and you can also have a say about the kinds of things that I create next. All of that starts from just $3 a month, and it really, really helps me out. A big shout out to Mike Holland, my very first subscriber who signed up today. See, that's how dynamic this channel is. So hi to you, Mike. 
And if you want to see different kinds of benefits too, and I'm talking to all of you now, not just Mike, please let me know the kinds of things that would be interesting to you. Whether that's early access to my content or members only benefits behind the scenes or private live streaming, whatever it is, just let me know. And that's pretty much it for now, my little magical students. If you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and click the subscribe button to see more of this sort of stuff. If you do subscribe, please remember to click that bell button to make sure you never miss another video because then you'll be told next time I upload something. You can be added to my videos just by recording yourself saying stay magical and link it down in the comments. Remember that we now have well over 1,000 subscribers, actually 1,157, maybe even more actually. So I'll be back on Saturday with some celebratory drinks recipes, both for kids and for older kids like me, because I'm nearly 40 and I still like them, both boozy drinks and not boozy drinks so everyone can be involved. And next time we can then all party on dudes. But until then, as always, stay magical. Play the real world magic.